everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And guys, it's not just only a, another match reaction. It's the African Cup of Nation, baby, match reaction. Of course, your boy Ivory Spice representing his country, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, you know, Les Elephants. You get me, guys. It's only right that I have to deliver you with this match reaction. For those who are new to this channel, and you remember to subscribe, smash that like button, guys, and also remember to share because sharing Ivory and Spice is caring. And if you want to contribute to this channel, you can always contribute via PayPal. Links in the description, of course, guys, in the comments if, if you can check. Remember, you, you can always send money via PayPal. And if you want to join me on a YouTube to send your two super chats on a live stream, make sure you do. But let's get it cracking, guys. Of course, because you are here for your match reaction. It is Equatorial Guinea nil. Ivory Coast won. Woo! Ivory Coast getting their three points. Do you know what? Let me get let me get out of the way. One nil must be a thing in the African Cup of Nations. You know, everyone's out here trying to get their one nil victories in the opening game, and we had to get our customary one nil. So we deserve it. It was a decent start for man. I mean, for Ivory Coast guys. Sorry, for those who love Manchester United, make sure you subscribe. For those Ivory fans, make sure you subscribe as well. But yes, as I was saying, it was a decent start for Ivory Coast. Yes, top of the table, Ivory Coast is right now in our group on top of those scumbags. Yes, the champions, Algeria, and of course, my third country, Sierra Leone and Equatorial Guinea with a zero points. So right now, the game on Sunday is looking very interesting and spicy. We win, we go through. But yes, this game, which we needed to win, performance-wise, the guys did what they had to do. There were so many suspect performances that's for certain players in terms of passing. But guys, let's just get straight to it. Because that first half, looking at Ivory Coast, the way they performed, we started off well, getting the first goal controlling the, the, the first half. We controlled Equatorial Guinea. Guinea couldn't do nothing. They couldn't get out their cage at, at certain times in that first 30 minutes of the first half. Yes, they were trapped. Yes, they were they were technically, you know, our little prey, you know. They were plant to us, you know. We would just look at them with our elephants, trunks, slapping them in their face, doing what we have to do. But Shill, still, where I fought Ivory Coast themselves, the Ivorians boys, could have at least got another goal to actually pressurise Guinea. Because we scored so damn early. But it never happened. Oh, as well, we were so sloppy in the final third. Ivory Coast sometimes, I don't understand with us, with us Ivorians. We love to mess around in, in the final third. Mess around with us with our food, if I have to be honest with you. We like to play with our food, you know. We've got our prayers. We're like a, a, what's it, a lion or with, a, with a little mice, a cat with a mice, playing around with the mice all the time. Eventually, the mice get, it goes away, you know. It gets caught loose, you know, and it's gone. But I recall should I finish Equatorial Guinea at certain times as well. Equatorial Guinea themselves had opportunities to score the goal. They did their thing, you know. They, they, were, they just didn't have the quality to finish off, you know, their chances. As well, I have to say, Ivory Coast passing were messing around. Are you guys on a holiday at times? Are you guys on a holiday? This is something serious. This is a competition that I want us to win. We have to win. We've got no option. We need to win our games because we was a disgrace in the last competition. Getting knocked out so damn easily as well. So, yes, you owe it to us, Ivorians, you know. The elephants, you guys, you boys, you owe us, you know. Man, it's man. Oh, guys, I've, my French had to come out. But yeah, it also, as well, with that, we was lucky not to concede a goal throughout the whole entire game because there was chances we gave away. But Ivory Coast, it's, 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 not, it's not an Ivorian game, you know, unless we don't make mistakes defensively. Defensively was were, were a bit shaky, but with Eric Bay there, I'm hoping that we can get some stability for, for his quality as well. The goal itself, Max Grado, woo, goal, beautiful, beautiful long range strike, which was a mistake by Equatorial Guinea defender, giving the ball 
pass the ball away to and uh, to Max Gradle for for it to land perfectly on Max Gradle's feet, for Max Gradle to shoot from long range to give Avery Coast that one nil lead and that one nil victory. <clears throat> It's wonderful for us because I'm so happy right now. No, 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 no. The three points are très, très important, mon frère. They're très important to everyone. Huh? Huh? It's bien because I'm passing on a three point. Uh, um, guy, one more time. We win one more. Sorry, guys, I got mixed up right there. But yeah, if we win one more time, one more game, we go through. But guys, of course, my man of the match today has to go down to Conan. I thought Conan was oh, brilliant as 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 a left back getting forward as well. Don't give the match has to go to Seri because Seri was ineffective. You know, although he showed his qualities as well, it just, it just didn't do much for me. I thought Ivory Coast himself could have controlled the midfield. Certain players as well, such as Hala, which was so disappointing, you know, the top goal scorer in the Champions League, he couldn't even get service. And that's the thing about Ivory Coast in the final third. We've got a quality striker of Sebastian Hala that's top goal scorer in the Champions League for Ajax as well. And he couldn't get service, you know? It's that being in McDonald's Brixton sometimes, you know, or Campbell, guys, if you've ever been, a run down McDonald's and the, the, the staff members are ignoring you, you're standing there, you just can't get service. You're like, hello, I'm right here. Then they're telling you one minute and they go to the back and take to take the time and talk to their friend and then come back and say, yeah, yeah, have you ordered you? Have you served you? And you're like, of course not. I've been waiting for you. But yeah, he couldn't get any service. That's what, that was the situation. Max Green himself did good. Kessie could have done better in terms of playmaking. Bayi was all right, but Conan was exceptional. Les Elephants, my Ivorian fans, it is what it is. We take our three points. We, 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 we'll go again against Cyril Young, which is the most important game. If we win, we go through to the knock, next round, to the knockout stages, and it is what it is. But to everyone else that's been tuned, I would like to thank you because this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivorian Spice. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share, as well follow the socials, as you can see above there, and also in the description. For those who want to contribute, remember you can send a contribution via PayPal in the link description to help improve the quality content of this channel and as well send your super chats. Remember, not least, guys, it is what it is. As I always say, remember to keep it united and also remember to keep it red united because your boy Ivory Spice is out. Come on, Les Elephant. Come on.